everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And today I am continuing on, well, because I'm filming them back to back to back, as I do, uh, with another this doll versus that doll, but really not a head-to-head -head combination because... Well, it wouldn't make sense to do that, but it's still fun and it's helping me get through the backlog I have of like 8 million dolls surrounding this desk and more dolls are coming and Rainbow High Shadow High has, has, has you know, new, new, the, the three dolls and three dolls, that's six dolls. That's, I don't even want to think about how much money it is. Um, I think that they're sending me one set. God bless you, MGA. <laughs> Thank you. But like, I still have the twins and Ainsley's over here somewhere. I have more mermaids dolls. I have Lala Loopsies. I still have Lala Loopsies to open. I've got more Barbies. I've got my Barbie looks doll. This, I still didn't do the original Barbie looks dolls from the black and white thing. I have got so much stuff piled up that is actually giving me palpitations. So I'm trying to get through it. So today we are going to look at another Barbie extra mini and another LOL OMG tween. Again, the only thing that's connecting these two is a very fine line here. They're blonde and kind of glam. You see. See see how I went here? So this is Marilyn Starr, who is, you know, obviously Marilyn Monroe inspired. Or if you're, you know, a little bit younger, maybe Madonna inspired. And then these, the, the, the Barbie Extra Minis don't have names. I'm really loving the Barbie Extra Minis, even though... As we saw in the first video, the quality between the quality differential between the two is is it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. But I still love these like I'm still getting all of them. Well, I already did. So uh, this doll is $16.99 and this doll is $19.99. I will put links down below. They will be Amazon affiliate links, which means if you use that link, I'll get a little commission so I can buy more dolls. Thank you. So uh, these LOL tweens, there are four dolls to collect. These are the four dolls. And with the minis, there are also four of them, I believe, in this, in this release. So this is series two on the minis and series three on the tweens. So I am going to get them out of their boxes. Uh, the, the box is cool. Watch somebody else's video to see the box. I gotta keep on going. So uh, we'll be right back with them out of the box and we'll look at both of them and... We'll compare them and go, mm, that LOL tween is really a lot. <laughs> Got a lot more going on. <laughs> we'll be right back. And they are out of the box. And I'm going to tell you right up front, this battle is not going to go in the direction I originally assumed. So I'm going to explain why. Let's start this time with our friend Ms. Marilyn here. So here you go. The two of them side by side. $19.99, $16.99. You know, the only thing they have in common is that they're blondes and they're kind of supposed to be glam, okay? Uh, let me move you over here, a lovely lady. So this is Marilyn Starr. So she's kind of, I guess, you know, analogous to Marilyn Monroe, but she's got like a modern styling with neon. They gave her these neon pink sunglasses. I Didn't I just say in another video, I hate sunglasses on dolls, but so here we go. Let's try to put on Marilyn's glasses just so you can see the whole ensemble before I throw the glasses in the bin of glasses. I mean, it's not awful, but you know, I don't think it adds anything to the look, quite honestly. She comes with this little golden, uh, I guess this is like her award, but it's popcorn. Uh, and they do come with combs. I forgot to show that in the other video, they come with combs. So now that we've done that, and they come with stands. So I'm gonna take her off her stand and I'm going to take off the sunglasses. And we're going to discuss why this is gonna go in a different direction than I thought it was. So first of all, her purse is adorable. Look at this purse. That is so cute. Look at the chain, so adorable. You know, it's like fake quilted. By the way, nail appreciation again, cause I love these nails. And she's cute, okay? I'm not saying she's not cute. I, if you're gonna call her Marilyn Star, I just feel like I wanted more in terms of makeup than, than these silver eyelash things that they did here um, and a beauty mark. Uh, you know, I'm looking at what they did for Mia and her makeup just seems like so much more 
And I think if this is supposed to be like her face looks super plain, like when you when you step back, like it looks like a little kid, right? It doesn't have that fierceness or that glam look that you'd be kind of looking for. The other thing is her hair. Um, so she's got like, I feel like we're getting a little lazy. We're just giving everybody knots and that's fine. But so the knots end, and there's tinsel in her hair. The knots just sort of end like over here. And then you've got these little kind of tufts of hair that are trying, there's a lot of gel here, trying to get this tuft to roll into this flip piece. And then there's these two tendrils around her face. Uh, I don't know. It just, it's not working for me. But now here's the really big, the big problem, okay? All that peroxide is making my girl go bald, okay? This doll is so lightly rooted. Look at that. My girl's bald. And so you can't really, I guess that's why there isn't like a lot of fullness. It's just a flip. And I feel like that's a really missed opportunity. Also, I just don't like the way the front of this hairdo is going. Like one knots over, this looks like a hairdo I would do. Like her knots aren't on the same part of her head. Like, you know, her parts over here, but this knots over here. I don't know what's going on there. And, and then, you know, the outfit's cute. I, I love the outfit. I love these laces. This is, you know, I mean, you've got little, I mean, you've got these laces down the side and you've got actual strings here. Same thing on the sleeve, actual string little bows. This jacket's adorable. And then she's got this little bodice on. She also has a cute little ribbon belt with a big bow and her shoes are so cute. They're very 60s, um, like kitten heel type of, this is like, this is almost like Marilyn Monroe mixed with a little bit of Elvis and Anne Margaret. Don't ask me where I got Anne Margaret from. So yeah, I don't know where I got Anne Margaret from. And she's got like, these are like hip hugger pants. So she's really, really cute. But I feel like for 19.99 and with the budget that I know, and that's where I'm gonna go with this review, with the budget that I know these designers had, I'm disappointed. So I don't hate her or anything. I mean, she's really cute. She's very cute. She's just not exactly what I was looking for. On the flip side, we have this little girl here. And I have got to say that it, they come with a little stand. That's not what I have to say though. A little Barbie extra stand. And she's got uh, a purse that, you know, could be a nice oversized jewel purse for her or something that her big sister counterparts could wear. So let's take a look at her. This queen, yes, she's got this little belt on that says queen. I love this dress, first of all, crown, and I love that it's off center. She's got really pretty hair. Love her face. I love the whole really bold brow and kind of the amber eyes these pretty glitzy gold earrings and her dress. It's just so ruffly and sparkly. Like that's glitter, okay? That's glitter on this dress. And it's a one shoulder thing. Let me see if I can show you. So it's kind of like, if we pull these down a little bit, you can see how it kind of goes across. It's really a cool design. I mean, this would itch the heck out of your neck. Uh, if you were re wearing it in real life, but I don't think she cares about being uncomfortable. I really don't. I love these fur sleeves. Instead of making like a stole or something, she's just got the fur sleeves. So it gives her like that look of wearing like a boa or a stole without having to carry it around and having it fall all over the place. And Barbie, you know, has not been real good with the with the fur. I mean, the fur stoles are always very hard to do on dolls. And then the, the dress, the, the skirt part of the dress is really cute because it's all ruched sort of, but like ruched, vertic ruched vertically. Uh, again, articulated in the elbows and the knees. And then what I think is really, really cute about this outfit is these are like, they look like cowboy boots when you first look at them. Um, they're not exactly cowboy boots, but 
it almost feels like she's wearing this whole outfit. So I feel like she's like, you know, Miss Texas or something or Oklahoma or whatever. And she's like, I'm wearing this and then I'm wearing my cowboy boots. Like, I feel really... The thing that I, I feel from her is I feel like a ton of attitude and glitz and glamour. And in terms of hair, um, she's... Mm, she's probably equally as bald. You know, peroxide will do that to you kids. But uh, her hair is softer. I like the styling better. Like I said, I mean, it's apples and oranges, pineapples and coconuts, walnuts and raisins. I mean, they're not the same. We're not, we're not comparing like to like. But $16.99 versus $19.99, what I would like to say here is this. I would like to say I would like to get this doll back on her stand uh, while I talk, but I'm probably going to have to pause. To, okay, here we go. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, let me get her back on the stand. Let me get this back over here. Here's here's my parting here's my parting words. Okay, so these two dolls right here. Take a look. Take a good look. Look. Look at the camera, girls. I feel like this doll has so much attitude and fierceness and glam, and this doll doesn't. And I know that the designers of this doll have a much lower budget, and overall, they have had less to work with to create somehow with this tiny doll, a little bit of fabric, the way they screened the face, they somehow created this fierceness, this glamorousness, this attitude while with a much bigger budget and less constrictions because MGA is a privately owned company so they don't have a lot of the the struggles that like Mattel has in terms of you know standards and practices and like you know everybody being you know 87 people have to sign off on your design it's probably more than 87 people and I feel like this could have been more than what it is so that's my verdict okay you guys I keep saying guys. Okay, everyone, tell me in the comments, which one? Which one are we going for? Marilyn or Barbie Extra with pink attitude? You let me know what you think. I'm, I, ooh, was that foreshadowing? Anyway, but let me know in the comments which one you like better. I love them both. She's just, mm, like, I think I need Caden to do some uh, eyeliner for me. I need, I need, I need some, I need some Sharpie eyeliner on my Marilyn doll and, and just, I don't know, something more with the outfit, you know, it's just, mm, it's just not doing it for me. So you guys let me know what you think. I did it again. So you got my fun -able. So everybody, please let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Links are down below. Remember affiliate links. If you use those links, I get a little commission so I can buy more dolls. Mm, thank you so much. I love you. Bye.